This break is brought to you by Netflix. For a free 30-day trial, head over to netflix.com forward slash Gamebreaker TV. Hello again, my name is Olivia Grace and I'm here today to talk to you in another chat bubble about trailers. So what I'm wondering today is what makes a good trailer for you? I've been watching a bunch of trailers lately and trying to sort of see what I like and what I don't and I, I, I find I kind of find it quite interesting. Um, so it's kind of a question about what excites you in, in game marketing. What do you like to see? What do you want to see? So looking back, obviously you all know I play a little bit of WoW now and then. So thinking back about the Mr. Pandaria trailer versus earlier trailers. Now, I don't know how much of those you've seen, but if we go back through the Cataclysm trailer had Deathwing, the big giant dragon coming to destroy the world. And the Wrath trailer had the Lich King, who was a big, angry, sort of semi-undead-ish dude coming to destroy the world. And Illidan was the Burning Crusades version of the big, angry dude who was coming to destroy the world. And I remember seeing that Illidan trailer for Burning Crusade and just being so excited. And um, it was a really awesome trailer. But for me personally, the Mists of Pandaria trailer, although I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, I liked it, uh, but it just didn't. It didn't excite me in the same way as the previous of Deathwing, although Cataclysm's Deathwing didn't turn out to be that great a villain. The trailer was fantastic, in, in my opinion. Um, obviously, you've got to remember, this is all very opinion-based. Um, but yeah, so the Mr. Pandaria trailer, I, I kind of think I like a villain. I like a villain in trailers, and I like to see that villain introduced, because then it feels like the game's moving towards something. So I like quite a lot of story in trailers. So again, looking at the Guild Wars 2, the original trailer for that, there was a story focus. Focus. There was the dragons, you know, been sleeping under the sea, waiting for the time to awaken, and the races coming together. And there's, there was a big focus on landscapes in that particular trailer. So I think the landscapes showing off the real graphical quality of the game, getting an idea of the feel for the game and and what it looks like. And I mean, I wonder if that's that to me is really exciting, but. I wonder if I would be interested in that without the story element. So I, I honestly don't think I would. Um, moving on to different games that we're looking at at the moment, the, the Planet Side 2 trailer is a very different kind of game. Focuses com almost completely on gameplay. I mean, it's not really the kind of RPG type game where there would be a heavy story focus, but that to me, although I'm enjoying Planet Side, it wasn't nearly as exciting. I, I really think that there's a big lean on the story side for me. Uh, Final Fantasy uh, 14, 14, Realm Reborn. Now that has got some brilliant story behind it. So this is kind of an example of one that for me has got the story bit down. I mean, the I don't know if you guys saw the trailer with the actual Realm Reborn bit where the world gets destroyed, um, but it was a fantastic trailer. And it's made it made me really excited about the Realm Reborn stuff. However, the subsequent gameplay footage releases haven't been quite as good as that original trailer. They haven't really inspired me in quite the same way as that original trailer did. Um, so I'm wondering about game footage. So what do you think? By releasing game footage, a, a game makers opening themselves up for criticism? Should they shy away from that? I, I don't know that they should. I think game footage is a really important part of a trailer because it's all well and good having all the super fancy CGI. Like if you watch that Mr. Pandaria trailer, just going back to that, and you thought that the orcs and the humans actually looked like that when you started to play WoW, you're going to be disappointed. So I do think that gameplay footage in the advertising of a game is a really, really nice thing to have. However, I don't know if it's necessary in an original trailer. So I'm kind of wondering if that's really a necessary component of the actual trailer itself. Um, so what do you think? What do you think are the vital components of a really good trailer? What excites you in game marketing? Do you really want to see game footage in there? Do you want to see the environment? Do you want to see the landscape? Do you want to understand the graphical quality of the actual game? Or do you want to see CGI work, which the guys have done to sort of show off how, how good they are at, at CGI? <laughs> My personal thing, I, I've, I've kind of hinted at it already. I'm looking for great story teasers, really, really sort of heavy story, but I don't want, I kind of like a villain but I don't want there to be too much information on there. I want some element of mystery in the trailers. Um, I'm slightly ashamed almost to admit that I'm also always looking for the potential to play female characters. It's probably, you know, a, a, a sort of detch to my own detriment, but I, I much prefer to, to play female characters. I find that I can identify more with a game than I can enjoy playing them a bit more. Um, and I think one big thing for me is the lack of overt sexualization. So obviously there are games which are exceptions to this. I'm not saying that this is a complete, like 100% of the time rule, but 
if there's like a lady on the front cover who's who's basically wearing a, a series of belts then I kind of think that makes me think that actually they've not got much that's worth showing off other than naked ladies so for me that's a big sort of black mark against the game if they do that but yeah so I'm, I'm kind of really interested to see what you guys like to see in your trailers do you want to see gameplay footage do you want to see uh, landscape do you want to see world do you want to see gameplay do you want to see villains and spoilers and RPG elements of the game or do you want to see something else entirely is there something that you wish that game makers would be doing in their trailers which they aren't doing already I'm really looking forward to reading your comments in the article below and as always you've got to keep it locked and dialed to Game Breaker TV for all your gaming needs